Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope you had a good week and I'm sorry I haven't seen you this week, but you know how it goes. I've just been busy doing just dentist appointments, orthodontist appointments, veterinarian appointments, all that kind of stuff. And um, I did get some good stuff this week. I didn't buy a whole lot myself. I placed two orders to Sephora and got those this week and then I got a couple of surprise gifts and swaps and stuff in the mail so I'm going to tell you about all that good stuff and um, let's see I'll just get started with one of my first gifts which is from Gina her name is oh gosh I'm drawing a blank at her YouTube name but her name her first name is Gina and she has sent me many things before that she makes on her website she's made me several of the like the hair ties that don't leave a, they're, what am I trying to say, snagless or, um, and they don't leave a mark in your hair. And then she has sent me several other things and she sent me some goodies for Christmas and just to be nice. She sent me this really cool little bag that I love. And Gina, I love this because when I am using my little bags, I needed something like this just to throw my money, you know, a little bit of change or whatever, and my debit card in here. And I didn't have anything, so this is awesome. And of course, I love the way it looks and everything. And then she sent me some of her favorite things. One of them is this nail polish. It is the Bordeaux by Revlon, and it's one of the perfumery nail polishes. And I have not gotten one of these. So I love that, and I love the color. I love that it's like a red and raspberry or something all together. It's kind of like red, burgundy and pink all together. And then this little Revlon color burst and it's one of the lacquer bombs. And I'm not sure of the color, it's 105. And I know there's an eyeshadow in here too. Let's see, here it is. And Brooke and I were looking at these just the other day. It's the Almay Purple Shadow in, let's see if it has the name on here. Shadow Softies. Oh goodness, I don't think it has the name, but I don't think they have too many of these little lavender shadows. And I haven't used this yet because I've had it sitting out here so I wouldn't forget to show you. And then this was really neat. She sent me all of this stuff in a package and then there was a separate box from Nordstrom. And it was, it was interesting that, you know, when you get something from Nordstrom or Sephora or wherever, and it'll list on the receipt the, like if you get perfume, perfume samples or something, it'll list them out and then just put the price zero or, whatever, zero or whatever. And it had like three things that she had picked out, but they were, you know, gone through with a black marker. And I just didn't think anything of it. I thought maybe they were out of them or just something. And then she sent me this Burberry lipstick. And it is something I've never had. It's one of the Trench Kisses, number 216. It's the neatest. It is like a goldy color, and it's sheer. It is really pretty. It would look so pretty, like over stuff, and just a nice sheer. She says she did a review about it on her, I don't know if she did it on her channel or her blog, but I'm going to put all her stuff down below, including her Etsy store. But um, isn't that beautiful? I had the hardest time picking what lip to wear today, and the way I picked everything I wore today is today is the big day of John's Christmas work Christmas party, and it's just his little group, and they do it at the same place every year. I think this will be the third or fourth year, and it is not a dressed up Christmas party, and it's right after work. It is, they do have some good food. <laughs> and so um, last year I wore like my leather or pleather leggings and a sweater or something. And he said that, you know, I asked him, did he want me to really dress up or what? And he said that something like I wore last year would be good. So that's pretty much what I have on because we'll be going right after he gets home from work. And um, that's kind of how I decided on what to wear for my makeup today too, because he likes it when I wear more of a smoky eye and a nude lip. So that's how I chose what I'm wearing today. And I also used something that I got today that I want to tell you about. And all week, I have not worn false lashes. I have just been using my CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara. I forgot how much I love that mascara. And um, just giving my lashes a break and doing more natural looks. And I've enjoyed it. So it's not that I'm going back to wearing false lashes every day. But I do like them for some looks, especially for more of a smoky, 
kind of um, bombshell, you know, I don't know what you would call this look. I guess more of a smoky look, cat eye or something. But, um, but this would have been perfect with it too. <laughs> I had too many choices. But anyway, so thank you, Gina. And then she made me, made Brooke and I both something. She made this bracelet for Brooke. And it's so pretty. And Brooke has already worn this and someone else made her something. But I got her to give them back to me so I could show you. Um, this bracelet with the um, little crystal bead and the little elephant. I just love it. And then this is really pretty. And all of this stuff is on her Etsy site. But this is like a little glass pendant. And I was thinking, I probably could have worn this today. But it's just like a, a long necklace and like a little blue glass pendant with the, um, the little frame around it. I just think that is so pretty. Gorgeous. So thank you so much, Gina. That was so sweet. And what was funny is when she messaged me um, to see if I had gotten this, I had just gotten it, and she said, I think she said that she had called Nordstrom to track it, and Nordstrom told her they couldn't deliver it to my P.O. box because it had perfume samples in it. You know, they're real funny now about perfume samples in the mail. And, um, which I don't know why a P.O. box has anything to do with it, but anyway. And um, so that's why they had marked through it. They had just taken the perfume samples out and sent me the lipstick. So that was fine with me. So thanks so much, Gina. That was my friend Holly. And you guys probably know her from following her on Instagram. She has a great Instagram. It's Holly Makes Up, and I will put that down below. Her and I are buddies and makeup buddies, and I love getting her advice. I bug her to death with photos that I find. I will take a picture of a photo in a magazine, off of Instagram, anywhere, and I pick her brain because she's real good at knowing what colors to use to get a certain look. And I'm always, <laughs> I'm always messaging her, how do I get this lip look? And she messages me back, they're just young. <laughs> That's just that young girl lip color. Mm -hmm. So um, she sent me a box of goodies this week and she sent several things that she didn't care for. And a couple of them I've already given to Brooke, a lot of glitter eyeshadows and stuff. And then she sent some other things for us to use. And I was just gonna show you a few of them because to be honest, a lot of them I've already used. Like she sent me her favorite bath salts from Whole Foods, and I've already used those, so they're in my bathroom. And um, well, this is one thing she sent me I've enjoyed, and it's the Tarte Blush Palette. And then it also has like um, the, let's see, I've got my little slip wrong. No, I don't. So anyway, it's got Crave, oh, goodness. Um, Crave, Dazzle, Darling, Doll Face, and Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. So it's just a really nice palette to have and just pick up and use. I've used that a few times. And then, let me put that slip of paper back in there. Then she sent me this blush, which is beautiful. Today I'm wearing the Chanel Accent Blush. I have only worn that one time because I've been so into the bright pinks. But today I used it and I really like it. It's real pretty. Um, it's not as dark as I thought it was gonna be. But this is one of the Smashbox blushes that she sent me. It's called Pop of Pink, and it is. It's really pretty. And then there's a couple of things I really wanted to show you. This, this, she sent me two samples of this, which this is the Living Proof, and it's called PHD, Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. I used this Sunday night. I washed my hair, and I used the entire packet because I've got my extensions in, and they kind of suck up the product, too and loved it. I did not have to wash my hair, which when you have extensions in, it keeps you from having to wash your hair as much because the extensions just don't get dirty like your hair does. And I don't put, I'm not somebody that puts product in my hair every day. And, um, but it just made it full, not frizzy, and gave it some oomph and body. I mean, it was just a really neat product. So I'm gonna try it again to make sure I like it because I saw the bottle of it and I think it was like $20 and make sure I like it, and if I do, I'm gonna get this, because I think I do. I've used it that one time, and I really did like it, but you know, you kinda of have to use it a couple times to make sure with hair products. Okay, um, everything she sent, I had a post-it, you know, explaining what it was. Um, she sent me this palette that she picked up for both of us, I believe in Namie's, and it's a Lorac the Stylist palette, and have not even used it yet but I think I am going to love this purple in here. 
just really pretty. Sent me a brush and a comb. I'm teasing. She sent, oh gosh, this was something neat that she sent, and I have never used these, and that's what her note said. It's Bottom Lashes from Red Cherry, and I halfway thought about trying these today, but I didn't want a chance just getting frustrated and stuff before I had to do my video, but they're the Red Cherry number 501, and I have never tried these, and I've always been curious. I have watched like when Kim Kardashian's getting ready on the Kardashians or whatever, and they'll show them doing that. And I've always been curious how that would work. So um, I'll watch a tutorial before I try it. And then she sent me a MAC palette that she wasn't using. A bunch of stuff that, um, some other like an Urban Decay palette and stuff that Brooke has. And then this was one of the neatest things that she sent me. I've been using Colleen Rothschild, Rothschild's um, mask her detox mask and I've been loving it I have never been a real big mask person every time I have done one because of Tammy Uppy's beads I've she is like the mask master <laughs> and skincare so because of her I've done a few of them but I've never really been as into it I think I prefer the ones that you put on like this rather than the cloth mask unless they're the kind that really stick to you and you can walk around but I don't like the kind that you have to lay down with because I just I've got to be doing a couple things at one time and that's what I have been doing with that is I've been washing my face you know basically not real just washing it get the makeup off putting the mask on taking my fingernail polish off and stuff while before I get in the shower and then I get in the shower and scrub my face real good and just when you get out it feels so good it feels so smooth but I wanted to try the Glam Glow mask because, one, I had been using Colleen, so I knew I liked that. And two, I kept seeing everybody using it on YouTube, and I was just curious. So she sent me a sample of the regular in the black, and then she sent me a sample of this, the Super Mud. Um, we'll see, clearing treatment. And I think who first really piqued my interest was Heidi, Jalapeno 2007. She did a either a haul or a favorites and said she loved it. So... I used my black one and I loved it and I can say the difference in this one and Colleen's is not a lot. I would say the Glam Glow was a little bit more tingly and it dried more whereas Colleen's is more luxurious feeling and I don't know one of them the Glam Glow makes you feel like it's really cleaning and um, just stronger. Whereas Colleen's makes, I feel like I could use Colleen's more often, and it, I felt like it left my skin maybe a little bit more moisturized feeling. Um, so if you have sensitive skin, Colleen's might be a little bit better. But I haven't used them either one of them enough to really know. But anyway, I love all of them, and um, I haven't used this one, but this is the one that's supposed to really. Oh, it's got lactic. Okay, it's got glycolic, salicylic, lactic, mandelic. Oh my gosh, it's got so many acids in it. Okay, this one is a strong one. This is spot treatment, full mask. Yeah, I had to let you know how this one goes. So, I think one's kind of like luxury, and one's probably more, you know, skincare type stuff. Okay, and then Holly sent me these rings. I've seen them before, and you know, I love these kind of rings. It's kind of like the ones that Dean Davidson sent me, but they're the stacking rings from House of Harlow, and she said they did not fit on the finger that she wanted them to go on. And uh, matter of fact, I'm wearing some other rings that she gave me today. I thought would go good with this outfit. And um, so I love those. And then this was so sweet. I love stuff like this. It says, this is for my dresser for the stuff you wear all the time. And she said we could put our Dean stuff in it. But it's a jewelry tray. And it's from the perfect J. Crew. color because my bedroom, the walls are just about that color, the teal. So, and I love pretty little dishes and stuff like that. So, oh, and she sent me one more thing. She sent me this t-shirt, which I love. One, because it's black. Two, because it's sheer. And three, because it's LNA. And I know I like everything from that brand. And she said that they were having um, them on sale at theoutnet.com. And I'm not sure. I got a lot of dresses from the Outnet. And I've gotten some shoes there before, too. Um, I know it's kind of like an outlet to one of the big department stores. I'm not sure which one. I'm sure you guys can tell me, but... I, they have good deals and they have really nice stuff. So usually everything's still kind of expensive, but it's still a really good deal. Kind of like um, Blue Fly and a lot of those places like that. 
But um, so thank you. And, so and then much, Holly, Lori you know. on here and her. Gosh, I can never. It, I know it's LL and then a date, but I will put her link down below. We did a swap. She wanted um, one of the little necklaces, the Sheila Fajal necklace, and I liked her jewelry, so we did a little trade. And she made this for me, and I love it. This is so pretty. It's she does the beaded work, and I'm not sure what this is. Brooke tried to tell me. You'll have to see exactly what that is, but I love this bead. I love that it's going to look so good with black. So it would look good today, actually. And I love the color blue. That is just beautiful to me. I love like a pop of color like this, which is an all black outfit. And just the beads are so pretty the way they're faceted. But what I really what really makes me like it is it reminds me of, if any of you watch The Housewives of Beverly Hills, I love each one of those ladies has such different style. And I, I appreciate all of their styles. I mean, sometimes I love stuff that Brandy wears, and then I always love Lisa Vanderpump's outfits, and then I always love Yolanda Foster's. And Yolanda wears bracelets, I mean, necklaces and bracelets like this a lot, and I just think it's so pretty. So thank you so much, Lori. That was so sweet to make that for me. And then she made Brooke two bracelets, and they are so cute. I love the pink, and Brooke really liked it too. I, we both loved the veining in the pink beads and the black, and I just loved it. So Brooke said to thank Gina and Lori. She loves them both. She loves it when she gets little goodies. So, of course, I will put her link down below because Lori sells her necklaces. Brianna. And... I will put her name down below. She works for a, or with a plastic surgeon, and she is also really into skincare. And her and I, I've bought some things from her, and then we've done some swaps. So I don't know which one I did for this. I know I just sent her some Rachel K and stuff. But anyway, she gives me the best suggestions on skincare, and she loves this combination. And I just started using it. I guess I got this probably last Friday or Saturday. I think I got it Saturday in the mail, and I've been using it ever since. And I will never be without this combination. It is the Neo Cutis Hyalis, which is the, um, it's kind of like that B5 gel sample that I tried. Let's see, but this is anti-aging post-procedure, but it is the 1% Hyaluronic Serum. And I've been using one pump of this, letting it soak in, and then going behind it with the Neo Cutis Bio Cream, um, Bio Restorative Skin Cream, and the two of these. And then I, before I do these, I do my Vitamin C Serum. And at night, that's when I do my Rafisa and my Abaji Blender. So that's when I do all of my heavy-duty, you know, skincare, lightening, you know, um, cell turning over, all that kind of stuff. And then in the morning, I like to wash my face, use the vitamin C, because that has the antioxidants and everything, and then use this, and that really plumps up my skin. And it is not too heavy. It's not like putting on a heavy moisturizer. It is just like, they say like a drink of water for your skin. And it's just been a winning com combination, and I've been using it for a week now, and no pimples or anything and I don't know if you can tell it just gives me that plumpy feeling but not greasy I don't feel like my you know makeup just slides right off of it so I really recommend these and I know you can buy everything that you see Brianna send me you can get through her including oh this has been like my love of the week and my other one is and my I saw on get her Instagram her say that they had just gotten these in and so I quickly messaged her, and I think, I don't know if we did a swap or if I paid for this, or she might have just sent it to me, but the first one I got was the Sarah Hap, which I I have almost hit pan or whatever on that La Mer lip balm, and I love it, but I also really loved the Sarah Hap lip slip in the tube, the pink one, and I don't know... When I run out of the La Mer, I'm going to get that Sarah Hap again. And just two and really compare them of all the ones I've ever used. And the first, okay, so then Sarah Hap has come out with a lip gloss. And she's only got two colors. And so the first one I got is the Nude Slip, which just the name. One Lux Gloss. 
This lip gloss, I really probably need to do a whole video on this. And let me go ahead and show you the next one I got. I love this so much, she sent me the next one. And it is the Pink Slip One Luxe Gloss. And let me show them to you. This is the nude one. And then I did uh, several Instagram posts with the nude one on. And then this is the pink. And these are the most luxurious lip glosses I think I have ever used. The consistency, let me swatch them for you, is like nothing I've ever really, I, when, one night when I was going to sleep was just trying to think of another lip gloss I could compare it to. This is the applicator, so it's got a big, neat applicator. It doesn't have a hole in it or anything, but it's just a neat size. And um, I hope I can swatch it. They're sheer. Now, I will say they're sheer. I've been wearing them on their own, though, so I'm going to try to give you a pretty good swatch. So it's a nude with some color, and it pulls more pink on me than it does peach or anything, but it's just a beautiful nude. And then this is... This could not be any more perfect for what I've been looking for lately. It's that rosy tone that almost has a lavender type tint to it. And I'm gonna put it right beside it and try to put it heavier so you can see it. So there is the rose. The rose probably has more color, but it still shears out. And the consistency is not sticky at all, but yet it lasts for hours. You will feel this lip gloss on your lips for probably, I would say, three hours or more. And it just gives the most beautiful, there's no sparkle, but it is very, very shiny. And it is definitely enough to just light up your whole mouth. I mean, it's just beautiful. I can't there's say enough good about it. the prettiest glosses I've gotten in a long time. Matter of fact, if I had, now that I think about it, if I had to compare them to something, it would be those Clarins. Remember those Clarins glosses, the um, Gloss Prodige that we got a while ago? It's kind of like that. Just that, not as sticky as those, though, but just that same beautiful look. It just covers your lips so, so pretty. pretty. Thank Patty. Patty sent me a very sweet card last week, and I meant to thank you, Patty, with a long note and a, just a bunch of support. Patty cakes. <laughs> and um, I, I do appreciate every single thing that you guys send me. I really do. Okay, um, this is something that Holly sent me. I forgot to show you. And love it, love it, love it. I was just telling my hair girl about it yesterday. And it is the La Bella Shine and Repair Argan Oil Styling Treatment All Day Moisture. Penetrates to renew, soften, and shine hair. And it is, let me shake it and show you. Because even though it's an argan oil, it's in like a lotion type form. And so the other day when I used the styling cream from, gosh, what is that? All I, all I can think about is Jennifer Aniston. You know, the one I was just telling you about, the perfect hair day. Um, I used this on the ends of my hair. And it's not greasy, but yet it's just as moisturizing and... It does the same thing that an oil would do, but just not as oily, and I love it. I've also used it, like, on days when I, just when I got up and my hair was a little unruly on the ends and just to smooth out my ends. So, another I love thing that. that Brianna sent me this week, and she said this is one of her favorite products, is the Clinician's Complex Microdermabrasion Cream. And I'm so excited to get this. One reason is this brand... I cannot tell you enough good stuff about that lip gloss that I got from them, the one that's plumping. It was real expensive, and I got it at like a med spa, but it has just, I've loved wearing it at night and in the morning to get my lips kind of plumped up because what it does is it, if you have lip injections or not, it plumps up your lips with the um, hyaluronic acid, and it just, that lip gloss really works, and it really moisturizes too, and so I wanted to try some other stuff from the brand, and she loves this, and it just is a scrub to improve the appearance and texture of your skin, um, diamond-shaped crystals to exfoliate, but she uses this um, and loves it, so I'm going to try this. I just got it, I think, yesterday. Okay, let's see. This is something I ordered from, here it is, I ordered it from Sephora. Let's see, the first person that ever told me about it was Natalie, Flower Bomb 31. Then my friend Angela texted me and told me I needed to try it, and she said that it was so, the 
finish of it and the feel was of it was so much like Tom Ford. And then I watched a video and Natalie had this on and I went right then and ordered it. And it is the Bite Beauty lipstick in Retsina, R-E-T. Now that I've got a camera that you can see it, there, let's see. Okay, Retsina. And it is beautiful. I've got it on now, so it's a very, in my monitor or camera, it looks like it's coming off more pink, but it's very, very, I don't know, it's fleshy, like a fleshy nude. And I've got it on today with the Too Faced Nude, Perfect Nude Liner, and a little bit of Celeste on top of it, just to give it a little bit more pizzazz, but love this, and you're right, it does feel very good. I don't know if I'd put it up there with Tom Ford yet, um, just because I haven't tried it. I don't know where I put my tissue. But anyway, I love it, so I was glad I got that. And then another thing that I got, I think I got that $20 off of 50, and so that inspired me to get a couple of things here. But I'd been wanting to try this, which is the NARS the Concealer. The color I got is uh, Custard. I think Tammy, Uppies Beads, says she liked it. Custard, medium one. And I have only used it, I think I just got it yesterday or the day before, but I used it yesterday and I loved it and I used it today. So tell me what you think about it. I did the under my eyes and kind of down to kind of brighten my face and I did it before I used, right after my foundation, before I used any mineral powder or anything else. And um, so far I like it. At first today, I was thinking it might be a little creasy, but it doesn't seem to be. It doesn't seem to be creasing up. And I really did sheer it out with a Real Techniques, that little blender brush, the medium. I don't know if it's a concealer brush. Or it's a real nice little brush. And um, so, so far, I'm glad I got it. It definitely covers well. The only, the only downfall would be is if it creases after a while, but I don't know. I hadn't creased yet, and I've, been, I've had it on probably about an hour now. I got this. The Naked 3 palette. So I've had this for a couple of days. I have did an Instagram post. I felt like I should chime in with everyone. And it is beautiful. I um, try not to blind you. When I first got it, I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be my favorite one. I mean, the colors are beautiful. And so Brooke and I have both used this. Today was my first day using it. I believe I've swatched it and I've messed around with it, but to do a full look, today was my first day. And Brooke used it yesterday and she just used um, Nooner in the crease and then did a little winged liner and it was beautiful. Okay, today I wanted to do a smoky look. So I used it and I used a lot of the Dark Side, Black Heart, and I used a little bit of Nooner um, to begin with just to like blend out up here. And then I used um, Strange to do like my brow and everything. And this is the conclusion that I came up with. And I didn't use the brush, but I think this is gonna be my favorite one for a more natural look. I think that there is so many colors in here that are gonna be a beautiful crease color on their own. Like I think the Nooner and the Liar and factory, they're gonna all look beautiful when you want to do just that crease color and basically nothing else. But for a smoky palette, I felt like all the colors were kind of, um, I mean, they were really blending and I felt like they were kind of running into each other and all looking the same. So I think if you're more of that smoky person that really likes a smoky eye all the time, then you probably would like the one and two better. But I think this one is beautiful if you like but, more um, of a natural look. Very and pretty. I would say if you're on the fence about it, go ahead and get it and just get it out of your system. But what's going to be nice is when they come out with these colors on their own because there is like probably three of them in here that are just beautiful crease colors. And I'll do more of those looks later. You know, like five minute phase when you just do one color basically all around. And yesterday when I was like at that. Ulta, I saw they had this and I had no idea, but it's the Sesh Vite colors in nail polishes. I mean, it, we usually use the top coat, but now they have all the different colors. And the first color I picked up was a light pink, and I thought, no, let me get it one of my dark colors. It's, this is Risqué, and it's what I have on today, and this is all I have on. I haven't read to see if they're supposed to be like, I don't know if this is supposed to be just as good as not using a top coat, but it did dry fast and but, it um, is shiny. So this is the Risqué, and we'll see if it lasts a long time or, you know, if it's worth 
It was only $7, which isn't it. that much more anyway. Okay, I'm going to be right back with a quick outfit of the day. Nothing too special. And today I'm, I'm wearing um, the little blouse that I bought from Saks. It is the Diane, Diane Von Furstenberg, and I love it. I wish I would have gotten the fuchsia one now, but it has just a beautiful collar, and it just lays so pretty, and it's just really, really nice. It's got like a another layer underneath it so even though it's sheer it's not too sheer and i love the little um the curve of it i just think it's very pretty and flattering and then these are just those faux suede looking genetic um pants that i have and then the shoes i have on i hope you can see are my gianni beanie um, just little booties. These are just real comfortable when I like them and I feel like they go well with this look and I just have my black um, Balenciaga. Okay, Zinga. sorry, it's hard for me to do the outfit because I can't see what you guys are seeing because one, the little camera is so small or the little screen and two, when it's tilted down, I really can't see it. So I hope that, I always hope it turns out. But um, okay, for accessories, I have on the little um, Dean Davidson studs and I have on my Light My Fire matchstick necklace, and I just got some more of these. I've already added them to my site, and I also got the really pretty um, bird that I had on last Friday, the gold bird, and so those will be on my website tonight, and I just love this. I think it is so pretty and flattering, just the way it hangs, and it says Light My Fire on it. It's just so cool. And um, no bracelets, and the rings that Holly gave me and um the fragrance i have on is prada candy already put a little bit that on today so i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend merry christmas to you enjoy this holiday and eating good stuff let the diet go but i hope you guys bit. have a good weekend and i'll see you soon Bye bye